The game of pool has been around in some form for hundreds of years. It has been enjoyed by nobles, royals, and the wealthy. And in all that time, it has been considered a predominantly male sport. That is until recently. Women have been making a name for themselves in this male sport. One of these women is Colorado local Melissa the Viper Little. I was 14 years old when I first started playing pool. And my mother basically said, you need to go back to school and forget about this pool playing stuff. So I had told her that I wanted to play pool on TV one day, and she said they don't even have pool on TV. And I said, but they will one day. Rick Sparrio has known Melissa for years. He recalls when he first met her when she was getting a lesson from local pool legend Danny Medina. I've seen her win many, many times with the men. In fact, I even saw her a couple years after the lesson. She played uh, Danny Medina in a tournament and actually beat Medina in the tournament. Melissa started playing pool at the age of 14. She talked about watching two young boys play pool in the local pool hall and how they inspired her to pursue a career in pool. And they'd practice with me and pretty soon I started winning game after game and they were like, you should become a professional. And I basically chose when I was 14 that this is what I was going to do for a living. I was playing pool all the time with another friend of mine, Dave Evans, and she came in one day and saw Dave and I playing and was hooked. And then after a couple of years, she, her life took a different path, went to school, uh, and Dave and I kept playing. And about two years later, she came back into the pool world and was there, you know, till now. But it hasn't been easy for Melissa on her journey to be a professional pool player. As a woman in a male world, she had to make a name for herself. Being in a male-dominated sport, people used to take me lightly, and they still kind of do as far as the men professionals, and a few of them around the country can abide by saying, wow, you have to take Melissa seriously, otherwise she's going to beat you. I, I was probably one of the first persons to play Melissa Pool, and to see her play when she first started and how she plays today is like a totally different person. The growth is... Uh, that I've seen in Melissa has been tremendous. I mean, I'm used to playing top players and she has never been satisfied with her level, which was really, really good and took it to another level. She's probably one of the most feared women when she gets in the tournament, uh, even with, with the men, because uh, she'll play just as good as them and even beat them. On the Women's Professional Billiard Association, not anybody can just go and play. So some of the obstacles that I had to face was I had to qualify around the country in the early 90s. So I won five out of seven qualifiers, which allowed me to participate on the WPBA tour. And then once you establish your world ranking, then they invite you. So there was a lot of playing when I was younger. Melissa's mother, Lily, has been very supportive of her daughter's pool career though the hard life of a touring pool player has worried her on occasion. She had to travel a lot, and um, the miles she put in is scary. My biggest accomplishment is when I was in Las Vegas. I was just getting my touring pro status, and I had to play Lori John Jones, who's currently in the Hall of Fame and it was a feature 7 p.m. match. My parents were there, and I had to win that match in order to get my touring pro status. And it was just gut-wrenching. <laughs> and I ended up beating her nine to seven, and the place went nuts, and my family went nuts. And she's n n never stopped wanting to learn, wanting to improve, and that a lot of people don't have that. A lot of people love to play, but her desire to constantly improve is really, you know, it's rarely found in an individual. With everything that Melissa has already achieved, her future is looking bright. With her new website, Qzeta.com, and her new line of cues made by master cue maker Jacoby, the Viper looks like she'll be busy for a while. And I also was invited for, this will be my seventh time, to represent the U.S. in the World Championships and also the China Open. So I have a lot on my plate this year but I'm so looking forward to going overseas and representing my country.